Ready to go. Members of the House, please be seated. Will the House come to order? Mr. Clerk. Aloha and good afternoon. Today's invocation will be delivered by Pastor Peter Kamakaviva Ole of Cavalry Church of the Pacific. Will the members who wish to participate please rise? I do my best thinking sitting. So if you don't mind, would you just sit and just enjoy our time together? Representatives, I want to just uh, first of all thank you for your dedication and the way in which you've shown the way you pour out your hours, pouring over bills, listening attentively in hearings, empowering and encouraging our citizens in your community efforts and events, and especially enduring the criticisms of the crowd. Please thank your greatest supporters, your family, your friends, your office staff and help them to know as well that there are those that are caring and praying for them even today. Thank you for this honor just to pray and this opportunity to be a blessing. So let's pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. Although it is almost half over and we just again maybe have started our day, we thank you for all the things that you will help us accomplish this day. No matter how much work piles up, we thank you for helping us to accomplish all things in your time. Father, I pray that your quietness will overcome the quiet distractions that consume our hearts and minds, the quiet stress that goes among colleagues. I pray that you help your servants to do good to one another, not speaking evil, but avoiding quarreling, being gentle, and showing perfect courtesy to each other. I pray against the quiet whispers of the crowd and conscience. I pray that you guard your servants from the arrows that pierce their will, that you will continue to help them to heal and grow and move forward. I pray against the quiet expectations that are real and imagined, that surround your servants with people that will encourage and help them as they sift through the voices that seem to distract them. I pray against the quiet wrestling, and especially as they wrestle with your purpose. I pray that you guide your servants that they spend time alone with you. And I pray against the quiet wrestling in our spirit of the calling that you've given to each one of them. Please remind them that you place them here as your servants to serve you and the people of Hawaii. Grant us your grace, your presence, and your power to serve freely and faithfully. May your quiet voice be the one we hear. Lead us beside quiet waters. Restore our soul that we might serve you faithfully till we see you face to face. We pray, makaino kamakua kekeki akauhani himalele in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Peter. Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? 
Mr. Aquino, Ms. Bellotti, Mr. Brower, Mr. Cachola. Excused. Mr. Choi, Mr. Cregan, Mr. Cullen, Ms. Decoit, Ms. Evans, Ms. Fukumoto Chang, Ms. Har, Mr. Hashem. Excused. Ms. Ichiyama, Mr. Ng, Mr. Ito, Mr. Johansson, Ms. Jordan, Mr. Kawakami. Excuse. Mr. Keoho Kalole, Mr. Kobayashi, Mr. Kong. Excuse. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lopresti, Ms. Lowen, Ms. Luke, Ms. Matsumoto, Mr. McDermott, Mr. McKelvey, Ms. Morikawa, Mr. Nakashima. Excuse. Mr. Nishimoto, Mr. Ono, Mr. Onishi, Mr. Oshiro, Mr. Puha. Excuse. Mr. Rhodes. Excused. Mr. Saiki, Ms. San Buenaventura, Mr. Say. Excuse. Mr. Suki, Mr. Takayama, Mr. Takumi, Ms. Thielen, Mr. Tokioka, Mr. Tsuji, Ms. Tupola, Mr. Ward, Mr. Woodson, Mr. Yamane, Mr. Yamashita, Mr. Speaker. Here. Mr. Speaker, 43 members are present, eight are excused. Thank you very much. Mr. Clerk, please note the presence of Representative Nakashima. Reading of the journal, Representative Evans. Mr. Speaker, may this matter be deferred. So ordered, thank you very much. Mr. Clerk, are there any messages from the governor? Mr. Speaker, there are none. Thank you very much. Mr. Clerk, are there any Senate communications? Yes, Mr. Speaker, we are in receipt of a communication transmitting Senate concurrent resolution number 49, Senate draft one, having been adopted in the Senate. Thank you very much. Members, are there any introductions? Yes, Representative Oshiro. Mr. Speaker, rarely do I get a chance to introduce a friend and a constituent from Whitmore Village, but up in the gallery, I believe it's my good friend, Mr. Nesta Mayot. Nesta, please stand and be welcome to the house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further introductions, members? Speaker? Yes, Representative Ward. Speaker, the price is always right. We have May Price in the gallery, the wife of Larry Price. Would you please rise? Yeah. Very sure. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further introductions, members? If there is no further introductions, floor presentations, Mr. Clerk, are there any floor presentations today? Yes, Mr. Speaker, we have two floor presentations today. The first being House Resolution Number 161, recognizing and commending the Perry and Price Show for its achievements and contributions to the State of Hawaii. This resolution is offered by Representatives Suki, Brower, and several others. Thank you very much. Speaker Suki. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I move to accept the resolution, please. Thank you very much. Representative Brower. Um, yes, Mr. Speaker, I second Mr. Speaker's motion. Thank you very much. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Any discussion? Speaker Suki. Yes, Mr. Speaker and members of the, of the State House, I'm very proud to announce a couple of old friends. I call them old friends because I've been listening to them for the last 30 or 40 years that they've been on the radio. Every morning, faithfully, may not have always agreed with me, Mr. Perry, but I always admired his style and his strength of purpose. And of course, Larry is a legend for here in Hawaii. Football coach, former serviceman, boxer, athlete, played, uh, played for the 49ers, did everything one would want to do, can only hope to do, and Larry has done it. Both of them. So Larry got into the, and, and by the way, he got his PhD, he's Dr. Larry Price, uh, formerly. But he likes to be called coach. 
and that's how that's how we would be calling him coach yes we all know that they would kiss as K. Every morning, faithfully, they were there. In the old days, they used to go to Zippy's and, and have breakfast there early in the morning, 3.30 and 4 o'clock. But now, I, I believe they're having their breakfast at home or somewhere else. It's an honor to have them here. It's an honor that they would join us in this hallowed uh, chamber here. They both have been strong proponents of good government and not shy to criticize us when we have done wrong and also to praise us as we have done right. And they have done so much for the, for the community. The posse for one. We all hear about the posse. How many cars have, and lives and they have saved in getting the community to join them together to locate, to, to locate the missing car. That alone should be given a strength and they have, have been honored for that. The old saying is that never fear the posse is here. We all know that. So whenever you lose a car, somebody steals your car, pick up the phone and call KSSK. And the posse, and they'll get the posse right on the case. And of course, we know that every Saturday they have a show. And it's at the J Dynasty. I also enjoy hearing them, even though I might be in Maui, but they all have guests in there. And they all have a lot of fun. Hopefully someday I can join them at the Jade Restaurant in their show. It seems like a lovely slow show, especially that sumo wrestler they have. Must be a hell of a big person with all the sounds and the grunts that they made. And, uh, and I, I think that's a wonderful creation. Larry Price, of course, was with Akko Head. Many of you here are too young to really understand or know anything about Akko Head. He was a legend in his time too, and not just in his own mind, <laughs> but here in the state of Hawaii. Akko Head was either rich or poor, He'd probably been bankrupt more times than you can count. But he also had the ears of the state for many years. And he looked at Larry and Perry and chose them as the heirs to KSSK. And the show even now is continuing. Let me give you a little story of, so this probably goes back before many of you were born, but this is in April Fool's Day. I be, and uh, I'm not even sure of the year. And they had a tidal wave. But because Uncle Head used to kid the public so much, he yelled, tidal wave. Nobody believed him. And in the meantime, he created all the devastation. And we always remember Uncle Head as he yelled, please, this is no joke, there is a tidal wave. And everybody thought he was joking. It's something like Orson Welles and the Martians are attacking. In this case, it was real, the Orson Welles. And I like to also say they give a lot of their time to charities. They're basically wonderful people who love Hawaii. And they have done everything they can to enhance Hawaii and make it remembered. And uh, gentlemen, uh, I want to thank you much for listening to a little bit about Larry. And if you could please rise. Larry, can you? So we can give you a hand. The coach, Perry. Let's give Perry a hand. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Thank you very much, Speaker. 
Any further discussion? Representative Brower. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In support of the motion? In support, please proceed. Members, the media can be a very challenging career, and the best broadcasters possess a combination of finesse and business savvy. I tell people that I left radio to be in a less rough business, like politics. Today's honorees are very special to me. During the 1990s, I worked at KSSK for six years in the newsroom, and I learned about the business. Next to the newsroom was the air room, where Mike and Larry hosted their show. It's been the highest rated show in the country in market share. And even this morning, it was exciting. They had um, former First Lady Hillary Clinton on the air. And I think back just about 20 years ago, the two were asking me to go to Watanabe Florist in Kalihi because the First Lady was visiting, where we had her sign a POG, which Linda Coble donated to charity. From Perry and Price, I not only learned about life, I learned about being local and being human. I still think of one of the many things Larry Price said to me. He said, you're not looking for a career, you're looking for a calling. Members, allow me to tell you more about this great athlete, media personality, journalist, and formal civil servant. Local boy Larry Price graduated from Roosevelt High School earned a BS and MBA from the University of Hawaii and a Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Southern California. He completed his postdoctoral work at Stanford University and then went on to teach at Chaminade University. His athletic career was just as impressive. He was a student athlete who won four letters with the UH football team, played three hula bowl games, and he is UH's first NCAA Division I head coach and first coach of Polynesian descent. In 2009, the Honolulu Star Bulletin named him as one of the Centurions, the greatest 100 players in UH football history. In 1977, Larry began his work with KSSK as Vice President of Public Relations. He was soon paired with DJ Michael W. Perry to host the Morning Drive program. In 1989, he was named Radio Broadcaster of the Year by the Hawaii Association of Broadcasters. In 1992, he received the Media Advocate of the Year by the U.S. Small Business Administration. Larry is also known for his candid weekly column in Widme uh, excuse me, Midweek Magazine. The column ran for 30 years, and on a personal note, my favorite column was entitled, Don't Blame the Shopping Carts. The pay he received for the column, he donated to fund a scholarship at Chaminade. For all his achievements, it's no wonder he was selected as one of the city and county of Honolulu's official list of top 100 citizens in 2005. Seated to Price's left in the DJ booth is his equally talented partner, Michael W. Perry. Michael was born in Michigan and moved to Hawaii in 1972. He has a BS in psychology from Michigan State University. He launched his radio career during his last two years there, being a disc jockey by night and a student by day. He went on to become a Navy Lieutenant in the Pacific Submarine Force. In Hawaii, he pretty much stayed true to his broadcasting career, which allowed him to refine his craft and his celebrity voice. In 1980, he began hosting the Hawaiian Moving Company, which was a top-rated Sunday night tradition in the islands for nearly three decades and was broadcasted in several countries. Michael appeared in virtually every Hawaii-based TV series, including Hawaii Five-O, One West Waikiki, Jake and the Fat Man, Baywatch Hawaii, and many more. He recently played Dr. Trousseau in the movie Molokai, the Father Damien story. Michael is also a spokesman for several local companies, does countless national and international TV commercials like Kumu Kit and the Sony Open, and is a sought after luncheon speaker. Recently, he has devoted the majority of his public service efforts to Hawaii's respected Rehab Hospital, which helps individuals with physical and cognitive disabilities, where he is chairman of the board and spokesperson of the Rehab Foundation. Members, we are truly grateful for the continued service of these two men whose radio show has had a deep impact in Hawaii's history 
and pop culture. They are two true ambassadors of Aloha. Members, may we please recognize Perry on the left and Price on the right. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolution before us? Speaker. Yes, Representative McDermott. Mr. Speaker, I uh, would be remiss if I didn't speak about these two gentlemen because at the Navy League, we honored them about seven, eight years ago. I am a standing strong supporter. I am amazed we got them here because they are both radically humble and shun recognition and shun the spotlight. Their life is about giving their time, talent, and treasure to other people. And as Speaker Suki said, their work on charities, well, it's breathtaking in nature. And one of the things that I admire most about them is these two veterans never forget the men and women in uniform. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolution before us? Yes, Speaker Meredith, say. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support. Strong support, please proceed. And I think one of the nonprofits that Coach Price has always fathered through all these years, for those of us who are on Oahu, the Oahu Interscholastic Association Foundation, which gives out scholarships to the student athletes of our public school system. That is why schools like Kahuku are always number one. We support our public schools. Thank you very much. And Michael, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Rehab Hospital of the Pacific, and to Edith Leong, congratulations and keep up the good work. Aloha. Thank you. That was nice. Thank you. Any further discussion? Yes, Representative McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I didn't want to stand up, but I want to stand in strong support. Strong support. Please proceed. I think I speak on behalf of all the Gen Xers in both the building and in Hawaii. We grew up with Perry and Price. Like, there are Checkers and Pogo, Hawaii Moving Company. I mean, it's an indelible f fingerprint in our minds and, you know, growing up in Hawaii. When you think of Hawaii, Rubba Slippa, Dead Roach in the Garage, and Perry and Price. And, you know, I think it's a rite of passage almost for young lawmakers to get your bill skewered on Perry and Price show, you know. So I think that once that happens, then truly you've arrived in the world of politics. And just want to also share an embarrassing moment that the speaker might not have told all of us, that Mr. Price and the speaker uh, had a professional encounter many years ago in the boxing ring. And from what I understand, uh, Mr. Price uh, came up on top. So <laughs> maybe they can have a rematch here later on. Uh, but anyway, um, thank you so much for all your years. I mean, it's an honor. And let me just say thank you for really believing my World Series of Poker Bill. Oh, that was Rick Kamada. Never mind. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolution before us? If not, let's take this to a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. The motion is carried. House Resolution 161 is adopted. Speaker Suki, please proceed with the presentation of the congratulatory certificates and lay. Mr. Clerk, is there another floor presentation? Yes, Mr. Speaker, House Resolution Number 162, recognizing and commending the collaboration between the Honolulu Shriners Hospitals for Children and the Aloha Shriners. This resolution is offered by Representatives Morikawa and Bilotti. Thank you very much. Representative Morikawa. Mr. Speaker, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Thank you very much, Representative Bilotti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Thank you very much. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Any discussion? Representative Morikawa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In support? In support, please proceed. Today, we are proud to recognize the collaboration of the Aloha Shriners and the Shriners Hospital for Children Honolulu. 
The Aloha Shriners was established on June 12, 1901 as a chapter or temple of Shriners International, a brotherhood of men committed to family, engaged in ongoing personal growth and dedicated to providing care for children and families in need. In 1923, Shriners Hospital for Children Honolulu was the second hospital in the Shriners system to be established as a place where children with the crippling effects of polio, clubfoot, and other orthopedic conditions could receive life-changing medical care. The hospital is a state-of-the-art facility that provides Hawaii's children with the best orthopedic care, neurodevelopmental care, fracture clinic, surgery, physical therapy, occupational therapy, radiology, orthotics, prosthetics workshop, and other ancillary services. The Shriners Hospitals for Children Honolulu, in collaboration with the Aloha Shriners, is recognized as one of the world's greatest philanthropies and has evolved into an international hospital system that is able to sustain itself through donations so that all children receive care, regardless of the family's ability to pay. Aloha Shriners and Shriners Hospital for Children Honolulu serve the children and families in the state of Hawaii and in the entire Pacific Basin, including Guam, Japan, Philippines, Taiwan, Korea, American Samoa, and many other places in the Pacific region. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to serving children and families in the state of Hawaii and across the Pacific region. Now I would like to defer to the representative from District 24. Thank you very much. Representative Bilotti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong support strong of this Strong support. Revolution. Please proceed. I am proud to introduce our honorees on the floor today. They represent the hard work, dedication, and generous spirit of the Aloha Shriners and the Shriners Hospital for Children in Honolulu. Please stand to be recognized and remain standing as your name is called. Dr. Graham Federick, Pediatric Orthopedic Surgeon for Shriners Hospital Honolulu. Mark Leo, Assistant Rabban for the Aloha Temple. Chris Acosta, Chief Raban for the Aloha Temple. Donald J. Zeke Schmooz, Chairman of the Board of Governors for the Shriners Hospital Honolulu. Also joining them are patients and uh, patient advocates Tahina Devera, Liana Devera, and Angela Keen. Please stand to be recognized. Thank you, and you may be seated. Mr. Speaker, I'd also at this time, I'd like to recognize the members of the Aloha Shriners who are sitting up in the gallery along with any friends or family of the Aloha Shriners and the Shriners Hospital for Children Honolulu. If you could stand and also be recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I yield my time to Representative Woodson. Thank you very much, Representative Woodson. Thank you, Speaker, and strong support. Strong support, please proceed. Thank you, Speaker. I'm proud to introduce today our honoree on the floor, Tahina Devera and her mother, Lena Devera. Please stand up again. There she is, so cute. So cute, that girl, yeah? Tahina Devera is three years old from Waimanalo and attends Waimanalo Elementary School and Intermediate. Tahina has been in school now for four months and has learned to grow so much from not only her teachers, but her peers. At the age of 13 months, speaker Tahina was diagnosed with mild spastic cerebral palsy and other brain malfunctions. From the day that Tahina was diagnosed with spastic cerebral palsy till today, she has, received, she has achieved and overcome much at her very young age. She had to figure out how to sit up on her own, how to chew her food, how to drink from a straw, and had to learn and figure out and find the confidence to walk with an assisted walking device. She had also had to learn to catch up with her speech and her language so that she could communicate her wants and needs. Tahina now is able to communicate three or four word phrases and sometimes even five word phrases. She no longer uses a walker and is now using crutches to help her with her walking. Uh, speaker, it's important to notate that usually it takes kids to the ages of six and seven before they use these walkers. So Tahina, again, is three years old, so she's doing great. 
Tahina and her mother, Leona, are very grateful and blessed to receive services from the Shriners Hospital, Honolulu. Can, and I, may I please also have the honorees from Aloha Shriners and Shriners Hospital to please stand up in the gallery one more time so I can recognize you individually. And please stand uh, until I call all the names, if you would. Uh, would Dina Fernandez please stand? Gary Legit, please stand. Aaron DeGoyo, please stand. Nestor Mayotte, please stand. David Floriendo, please stand. We have uh, Angela Keen, public relations from the hospital. She can please stand. Oh, she's on the floor. There she is. Uh, and also the grandparents, Anna and Gary Germano. Please stand and be recognized by your House of Representatives. Thank you all for being here. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolution? Yes, Representative Yamani. Mr. Speaker, standing in strong support. Strong support, please uh, proceed. To my brothers, thank you for all the countless hours of, of uh, volunteer work, as well as your work um, fundraising to help the children throughout the Pacific area. We appreciate all the hard work that you do. Thank you. Thank you, and I believe you're an Aloha Shriner. Thank you very much, Representative. Thank you. Any further? Yes, Representative Buenaventura. In strong support. Strong support. Please proceed. Not only Tahina has had the Shriners helped, but they have helped countless of children throughout the state of Hawaii. It is really um, heartbreaking sometimes what parents have to endure when they have a, um, an injured, injured child or a child who has um, suffered from from some kind of birth anomaly. But the Shriners are there providing tens of thousands of dollars of medical treatment at no cost. And to them, I honor you and the House of Representatives honor you. And I also would like to um, also honor, especially Chris LaCosta, who has also volunteered at my office uh, last session. Thank you very much for all the work that you do. Thank you very much, Representative. Representative Ng. Thank you and strong support. Strong support, please proceed. Just wanted to thank the Shriners. Um, when I was in the sixth grade, my brother and I were walking to school. Um, my brother got hit by a car crossing the road. This driver was just kind of flying, didn't see us. Um, he shattered his femur uh, on Maui and we had to get rushed to the hospital. We couldn't afford it at the time. Uh, a week later, our father passed away. Shriners not only uh, took care of him physically and helped us financially, but also um, helped us uh, heal our wounds emotionally. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Representative. It's nice. Thank you very much. Yes, Representative Nakashima. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, strong support. Strong support. Please proceed. Yes. Um, you know, I recently uh, the Shriners have entered into a um, working agreement with the Hamako Health Center as well, and they are providing uh, lots of outreach and support for the people in rural areas, and I'd like to also add my acknowledgement and thanks to them for all of the support that they have provided to the Hamako community and others throughout the state. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. That was nice. Any further? Discussion on the resolution before us, members. If yes, Representative Jordan. Sorry for the lateness, Mr. Speaker. Um, in strong support. Strong support. Please proceed. I too would like to thank the Shriners. One of my personal friends, Mr. Mordecai Hudson, was a long-standing Shriner member and introduced me to the Shriners. And then I was reintroduced with a young man named Kainoa Ayla, who at about 13 years old needed some fixing to his leg. That young man is a strapping 20 plus year old in college and doing great work within our community. So I appreciate the work that you folks do moving forward with these young youths and continuing through their lives. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for honoring these individuals. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolution before us, members? If not, let's go to a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. The motion is carried. House Resolution 162 is adopted. Representative Morikawa.
Please proceed with the presentation of the congratulatory certificates and lay. Before we call recess, Chair would like to ask for your kind indulgence. I'd like to recognize again um, Coach Price's wife, May Price, and my good friend, uh, Charlie Jenks. They're very close with uh, Coach Price. If they can just stand and be recognized. Members, can we give them a warm round of applause? And Charlie and May, if you can stand for a second. <laughs> Sorry if I embarrassed you. Um, Chair will call recess to allow the members of the House to meet and congratulate the honorees. Recess. Doctor of philosophy is not a doctor of philosophy or philosophy. You got a PhD. Oh. Plus, it was on Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, keep going. Is it different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Go in. They're gonna email you the picture. Hey Charlie, can you take one?
Speaker, we gotta start because finance is a one-time thing. They're here. Finance is a one-time thing. We gotta start over here. Got it. They got one of these. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're a little late. Members of the House, please be seated. Will the House come to order? Members, we're on item number six, reports of standing committees. Representative Psyche. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt SCR numbers 1134-16 through 1143-16 on pages two through four, and that the company House resolutions and House concurrent resolutions as may be amended be referred to their designated committees. Thank you very much. Representative Evans. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Thank you very much. Move and second. Discussion on these measures. Stand from report number 1134 and its companion, stand from report number 1135. Discussion. Thank you very much. Stand from report number 1136. Discussion. Stand from report number 1137. Any discussion? Top of page three. Stand from report number 1138 and its companion, stand from report number 1139. Any discussion? Representative Thielen. Thank you. A no vote, please. For both of them. No vote for Thielen. Got it. Any further discussion? Speaking yes, Representative McDermott. Same. No vote no on vote both. No vote on both of them. Thank you. Further discussion? Representative Ward? With reservations. WR on both. Uh, Stand from Port 1138 and 1139 for Ward. Further discussion? Representative Tupola? Um, same request, Mr. Speaker. So, so ordered. Thank you very much, Representative. Yes, Representative Lee? Uh, in support, Mr. Speaker, I'd just like to point out, can't have fixed terms for justices if they're not appointed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion on the resolutions before us? If not, thank you very much. Stand come report number, stand come report numbers 1140 and its companion 1141. Discussion. Yes, Representative McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, 50th anniversary, Rezo, right? 
Yes, okay. Just yes. Uh, in strong support, I would hope that we could look at getting the dancing lights installed by then to have a real, true celebration. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Got it. Any further discussion, members? <laughs> Thank you very much. We're going to move on to page, top of page four, Stancom report number 1142 discussion. Stancom report number 1143. Any discussion? If not, members, this will be by voice vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, say no. The motion is carried. Representative Psyche. Mr. Speaker, I move to adopt SCR numbers 1144-16 through 1168-16 on pages 4 through 10, and that their respective Senate bills as may be amended, pass second reading, and be referred to the designated committees. Thank you very much. Representative Evans. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Thank you very much. It's been moved and seconded discussion on these second reading bills. Stancom report number 1144. Stancom report number 1145. Yes, Representative uh, no vote, Mr. Speaker, and I note that it, it does raise a fee. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion? Members, again, Stancom report number 1145. Yes, Representative Ward. Reservations, please. So ordered. Thank you very much. Representative Ing. Reservations. So ordered. Representative Tupola. Uh, reservations. So ordered. Further discussion? If not, thank you very much. Top of page five. Stancom report number 1146. Discussion. Stancom report number 1147. Stancom report number 1148. Stancom report number 1149. Top of page six. Stancom report number 1150. Stancom report number 1151. Re Representative McDermott. Uh, reservations, please. So ordered. Representative Thielen. Reservations. So ordered. Thank you very much. Further discussion? Representative Ward. Same request. So ordered. Representative Tupola. Same request. So ordered. Thank you very much. Further discussion, members? Yes, Representative Matsumoto. With reservations. So ordered. Thank you very much. Representative Fukumoto. Reservations. So ordered. Thank you very much. Further discussion? Representative Jordan. Yes, Mr. Speaker. With reservations. So ordered. And my reservations will stem in regards to traditional and cultural practices, Mr. Speaker. I don't understand why our current law isn't adequate as it stands at this moment in time, but I'll wait and see what comes out of judiciary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Representative. Members, we're still on Stancom Report number 1151. Any further discussion? If not, thank you. We're going to move on. Stancom Report number 1152. Stancom Report number 1153. Top of page 7. Stancom Report number 1154. Yes, Representative McDermott. Ms. Speaker, I reservations on this and uh, so ordered. The the only reason is uh, some people just don't read their email or they get too much junk, and I'd hate to have that as the notification means. And and uh, I'll look forward to hearing more about it in CPC. Thank you very much, Representative. Yes, Representative Thielen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Same reasons with reservations. So ordered. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion, members? Stancom Report 1154. If not, thank you very much. Stancom Report number 1155. Stancom Report number 1156. Stancom Report number 1157. Top of page 8. Stancom Report number 1158. Stancom Report number 1159. Stancom Report number 1160, Stancom Report number 1161, Stancom Report number 1162, top of page 9, Stancom Report number 1163, Stancom Report number 1164, Representative McDermott. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to vote no on this. In opposition? Yes, Please sir. Please proceed. I would, as a courtesy to the members, um, like my remarks from House Bill 2357 applied to this measure. So ordered. Um, and I think I'm going to start talk, stop talking because I was complaining about the age 14. I see here it's now 12. If I keep talking, it'll be down to two by the time I'm done. So I, I'm just going to sit down, sir. Thank you. Being very observant. Thank you, Representative. Uh, Representative Thielen. 
Thank you. Um, Mr. Speaker, a no vote because of the age of 12. I think that is significantly too young. So ordered. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Yes, Representative Masumoto, followed by Rep Representative Chipola. Same request. So ordered. And if I could have the previous speaker's uh, comments inserted into the journal as if they were my own. So ordered. Thank, thank you. you very much, Representative. Representative Tupola. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. No vote. So ordered. And request that my comments from HP 2357 be inserted in the journal. Also so ordered. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Representative Ward. No vote, please. So ordered. Thank you very much. Further discussion, members? Representative Jordan. Yes, Mr. Speaker, with reservations. So ordered. And I'll submit my comments to the journal with permission. Absolutely. Thank so you. ordered. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion, members? 1164. Any further discussion? If not, thank you very much. Stand camera report number 1165. Discussion. Representative Jordan. Please note my reservations, Mr. Speaker. So ordered. Thank you very much, Representative. Representative Tupola. Uh, reservations, please. So ordered. Thank you very much. Further discussion? If not, thank you very much. Stand camera report number 1166. Discussion. Top of page 10, stand come report number 1167, discussion. Stand come report number 1168, discussion. If there is no further discussion on the second reading bills, we will be taking a voice vote. This will be for stand come report numbers 1144 through 1168 as listed on pages 4 through 10. All those in favor signify by saying aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is barely carried. Members, are there any announcements? Representative Bellotti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your committees on health and com uh, consumer protection and commerce request a waiver of the 48-hour advance notice requirement for the purpose of conducting a public hearing with decision-making to follow on HCR 135 requesting DCCA to establish a health care task force, HCR 157 and HR 108 requesting the insurance division to conduct a survey of ACOs and concierge medicine in the state, and HCR 149 HR 100 requesting a sunrise analysis of mandatory insurance coverage for certain sexually transmitted disease screenings. Date, time, and place. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. The public hearing will be held on Wednesday, March 23rd, 235 p.m. in conference room 325. So ordered. Thank, thank you very you, much, Mr. Representative. And Representative Aquino. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, your Committee on Transportation requests a waiver of the 48-hour uh, advance notice requirement for the purpose of conducting a public hearing with DM to follow on Senate Bill 2938, Senate Draft 2, relating to transportation. Date, time, and place, Representative. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The public hearing will be held on Wednesday, March 23rd at 10.30 a.m., uh, 309. So ordered. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further announcements, members? Yes, Speaker. Representative Ward. Speaker, the fellowship luncheon will be held immediately following the session today in room 437. Our speaker will be the same invocation, Speaker, uh, Pastor Peter, Peter Kamakaviva Ole, and luncheon will be prepared by the gentleman from Waihewa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Representative Matsumoto. May I be permitted a late introduction? Absolutely. Up in the gallery, we have Celine Tali Silva. If you could please stand up. She's your current Miss East Oahu 2016. She'll be competing in Miss Hawaii this June. She's here at the legislature to learn about the process as well as learn about issues for the interview phase. So if we can welcome her to the House of Representatives. Thank you very much. Any further announcements, members? Oh, yes, Representative Bellotti. Mr. Speaker, um, just one late introduction for me as well. Uh, in, our, in the gallery today, we have from the American Diabetes Association, Leslie Lamb, exec, uh, Market Director, Michael Chai, a Regional Director, and Loris uh, Duenas, Associate Director of Development and Community Health, if they could please be right, rise and be recognized. Right. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, today is alert day in, um, on, in the, in the Capitol in room 329, you can go until 1.30 to get uh, your BMI test, and this is as part of um, ADA's Screen at 23 campaign. So please join us in room 329 before you go over to the fellowship lunch. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further announcements, members? If not, Representative Evans. Speaker? Speaker, I understand yes, uh, that there Representative Ward. be yes. a request for a moment of silence for the attack in Belgium. The 
that yes, you were going yes. to. It's all on CNN. Uh, okay. We can do that uh, before we close. Um, okay, thank you. Members, if you can all rise. I, I agree with Representative Board. Um, members, uh, our hearts go out for our people. And um, can, we, can we give a, a moment of silence and, and pray for, uh, for the people and their family? Moment of silence, please. Thank you very much. Any further announcements before we adjourn? If not, Representative Evans. Mr. Speaker, I move the House stand adjourned until 12 noon tomorrow. Thank you very much. Representative Thielen. I second the motion. Thank you very much. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. All those opposed say no. The motion is carried. The House stands adjourned until 12 noon tomorrow.